I welcome you to a new week. It's not exactly a new week, it is Tuesday already. Still look a little bit rainy, but that will be fine. So, where we are. So, I made a cleanser face last time. Now I trace a line with a pencil around the shape of the vise. And I will cut it to length. So that's the marks I'm doing now. And yeah, after that I will flatten this piece. It later goes in between the vise and the clamp surface. So I have a good and strong clamp. Yeah, just go ahead. Cutting to lunch, marking the shape. of this one and I just go ahead nice already nice and straight so said this is the inside that why I'm not concerned about the holes and I marked the doubles here uh, can you see it there there and there and I will put doubles in a spot where the other doubles are and then I double it together with the clamp surface so I have the doubles in this direction and vertical so I guess this will be this will probably last longer than the bench so just do a rough sanding both sides and then I guess we're finished to mark the doubles. I planted it, 
it's looking good so far. And I put a mark for the outlines, for the support. Now I make my double marks. Yeah, and then we're good for doubling. Goal for today will be to glue this together. And it can dry overnight, that should be good. Double holes. So the next step is to do the double holes.
the hole on the inside already. So now I go ahead and drill through this hole into the other piece. But for the middle one, I will only go like two thirds through it because the vines, it has a washer. I can show you. This washer I need to recess out of the wood and because I'm a lazy guy I will use the whole saw but therefore I need a middle and uh, if I drill all the way through the middle will be gone so I will only drill like two thirds through it then I drill with the whole saw from the other side the recess and then I finish from the inside with the other hole. That's it. I guess I will test fit the vice. Can we see it? Oh, that looks good. It's in. Turned out quite nice. So what I want to do next, this piece is a uh, uh, 4.2 centimeter. So I will go with the marking gauge and uh, mark to 2.1 centimeter. Then I put a mitre 45 degree, both sides. Then I saw this down and I put a camphor on the edges so that you can't put splinters in your hand but for the moment I think that looks good Both sides. Now I go ahead and saw it. the other side then I will see you back that's done too so as you can see put the camera looks very nice 
So now I will put a camphor on the edges and I will do that on the clamp surface too. Um, you can hold it as you like. Normally most bands I see they have a sharp edge on the top but in my opinion if you clamp something and it's not perfectly straight uh, this edge will mark the wood so I think with, with a slight camphor it will be not that hard I like that if you don't like it just don't do it okay so I set up the router and then I put the camphor Absolutely good with that. I think it looks beautiful. These edges I will camphor with the uh, hand. Even I could go with the router on that surface. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I will do that. Should I? Should I not? No, oh, I will do it with the hand. Yesterday I finished the rough sanding on the clamp. Looks good so far. So I will go ahead and sand it with a finer sanding paper. And I hope to get it into oil so that I can assemble the vise tomorrow after I finish the clamp. I will go ahead and fine sand the bench top and um, I will go over the frame with a fine sanding paper so that tomorrow I can oh yeah I will I will oil this surface too this evening so that the clamp surfaces are oiled already and uh, I can oil the west after I assemble the vise. Sounds like a good plan. I removed all the drawers from the inside, as you can see. And there's the place where the vise goes. Yeah. That's status quo. So I go ahead, do some sanding. Oh, 
the first half. Still a rock sanding paper I use at the moment. So I will go ahead and go to the finer papers. Yeah, until I can oil it. That's the goal. So I go ahead and do that and after that we we'll see us. Yep. Sanding is finished. Well, let's put some oil on it, okay? until I have like four or five coats gives it enough time to move a little bit inside the wood and um, I must say um, I'm not really satisfied with the pine on the clamp surface and uh, on the bench top because in my opinion it's too soft in long term but um, I hope the oil will harden the surface of the wood a little bit and um, well, I must say okay if it breaks I just make one out of hard wood and that should be fine too but for the first this will hold surely a couple of months and until then I maybe have better machines or something like that which make it possible to plant the hardwood because it's quite hard to get uh, plant wood here in Thailand. Yeah, you have to work with what you have. And another update, um, I try to find uh, some nuts, uh, some bolts, which are uh, 30 millimeter as a bench dog. And, um, yeah, I, I find a shop which sells them usually, but at the moment they are out of stock, so I have to wait for that. So I guess this week, uh, okay, we can finish the workbench at most, but uh, for the bench dock and the drilling of the holes for the bench top, I guess we have to do it another time. I will make a short video after this one when I finish that. So don't be too disappointed. I'm disappointed myself already, but it's the way it goes. But I guess this weekend we will end up with a ni nice basic workbench. Now I do the fine sanding on the bench top. And later on I will oil it and I go over the other surfaces from the frame as I told you with a fine sanding paper and then I oil the frame and the bench top and the covers from the drawers one time more because they are a little bit rough and I don't like that but yeah we're good so far. every sandpaper I have until 180 and yeah, then we are good for oil.
also, as you could see, I really let soaked it somehow. And this is the reason, because the wood is really, really soft. I hope if I get a good penetration, it will be uh, hardened a little bit. I hope so, at least. I guess. I hope. So I let it cure for half an hour, and I put a wet, a, a wet one, a really wet one, into a plastic bag. And after half an hour, I go back and cover it a second time. Should be good, I hope. And we will see. See you soon. So what happens yesterday when I just oiled the workbench? It starts raining outside because I couldn't cover it up. I moved it inside. Let it dry overnight. Looks quite good. And uh, I decided to go ahead today. I will fit the vise inside because it's only the screws, it will make no dust and um, these are still a little bit rough so I go ahead and sand one time over it with a, a 180 grit and oil them once more so they are nice and clean and while they are drying yeah, I install the vise and then we should be good to go. So, I absolutely have no clue what just happened because it was quite a hustle to get the vise inside. As you could see while I'm filming, I put some, I, I cleaned everything up and put some grease on the moving parts. So that should be fine. Yeah, just put the bench top back. All the time, as you can see, it's nicely parallel. Right, give you a better view. So if I close it, one half more. Put it down. Nice and tight. So I fixed the uh, bench top with some screws. I pre-drilled them. So that is all looking very good. Have to remove a little bit debris from the drill. But other than that, yeah. Very pleased how that came out. So now, ta da! Nearly can throw in the drawers for the very last time. And they are in too. They are sitting outside at the moment. It's a little bit dark already. Huh? Hope you can see. should be dry by now. Yeah, looks like we can finish today. Of course, without the bench dogs, because I don't have the bolts for it. 
nearly forgot. Of course, I put some screws in. So here you can see it fixed. Yeah. And side two. There are seven complete. We are under the post and four go on each edge. Yeah, that's good. So that's finally it. Workbench is finished. Stored device. Looking great so far. Really like how that turned out. So guys I know the bench dogs are still missing but hey there are only a couple of holes drilled in the ben drilled in the bench top right so I call this finished because I don't have to bolt I can't do it anyway and uh, this, this panel is still missing this was the one I used for the brackets spacers at the uh, plywood challenge so I have to replace that but yeah maybe I do a little small episode not that epic on this two and yeah tomorrow I will bring the bench outside and put in the tools. I feel like celebrating. So I hope you enjoyed the whole trip. And yeah, we see how it stands the test of time. I must say, okay, the next time I wouldn't use pine for the bench top, that's clear because it's really too soft. I know that uh, Paul Seller made the workbench out of reclaimed pine and he said it would be fine, but I guess if you have an old wood that is hardened it would be fine but this is a young wood so I can't recommend that but we will see maybe the oil harden it a little bit and yeah I'm really pleased so that's a wrap on, up on that one day we make a tour about the tools and how I arrange everything but yeah thank you all for bearing with me and I hope you enjoyed the series so and that's all